Oh, so hey guys, um, today is uh, still chilly. Uh, spring will be starting next week. It's uh, zero degrees uh, centigrade today. It's still windy and even uh, yeah, it started to melt yesterday, but then it froze again. But it's my day off, so I'm here in the range. Because, uh, as I have said, I bought this uh, rifle last month and I haven't fired it yet. So this is my new uh, Stevens 3P4. Um, it's one of the budget rifles that you can have in the market today, but this has lots of uh, nice reviews. So I want to see if it will do good in the range. This will be my second uh, caliber tail rig. And um, I have a lot of leftovers. I have two, four, six top points. And then here yeah, I have four here that are, I don't know, it's a different, I don't even know the grain. And then I have 20s of this full set. It's still a it's still I think a soft point um, ammo but I don't know how much the grain but anyway so first uh, I bought a uh, prevail uh, boriscope 39 by 40 so the uh, Piketani rail came with the rifle so it's nice and first thing you gotta do if you have a new rifle and a, and a scope is to save ammo is to go aside so you look through the barrel look at your targets paper target is in the center and then try to have the scope also in the center so that you can see your impact in the scope if not then if you can hit the paper then you don't know uh, how to adjust the, uh, the cross line and then you gotta be spending more ammo and ammo is expensive a little bit nowadays so uh, we're gonna see and I'll try to show you the range that's the 100 yards and then I have two papers first for bore sighting and then I'm going to adjust my my scope and then we'll we'll uh, try the second uh, paper target after that I have paper also set on 50 yards so that I'll know the uh, the impact if I'm going to uh, shoot that near because actually if you're especially me I'm hunting in the uh, the uh, um, crown land so if you're in the trees if you're in the tree stand 50 yards is really far like those trees are not planted straight so 50 yards maybe your deer is already covered but I'll zero this one in 100 yards and then we'll see how it does with 50 yards so I'm going to uh, to just load one ammo at a time to be safe it's a little bit chilly and windy it's I think 35 but it's going that way so no worries so uh, this has the uh, three shots single stock uh, magazine so we're going to start with so we're going to start with this one okay the soft point uh, ammo there We'll see how it does. <laughs> if 
you want to see how uh, how slick and how nice the uh, bolt with this rifle you can watch some of my videos and then uh, I made some about the uh, magazine release <laughs> and uh, we'll see here It's like it's like five inches to the left and four inches up. So if you look. Hmm, how can how will I do this? Right. Yeah, blurry because there's no sun. But anyway, I'm going to adjust the scope and then we'll see from there. The uh, trigger is kind of um, heavy, but we'll get used to it. I don't want to change it. And uh, I'm going to see if. Uh, I can adjust it well and have a few bullseye before I transfer to the second uh, pepper targets. I'm gonna include a picture of it and yeah, so far so good. Okay, so now I'm done uh, shooting and yeah, that's that's one of the best um, rifle that I have so I'm gonna show you how the targets are doing in a hundred yards let's pause this for a bit so I only used 10 shots today and I'm done it's not even uh, 30 minutes yet but that's how it's good so with the uh, rifle bore sighted it hits this first i made adjustment and i think i did it too much so i go down like like eight clicks i don't know it's too much and then four clicks to the right but i hit this 
this is just like a four inches three inches target and then uh, the third shot I'm in the third shot that's the one really good eh and then the next I think uh, yeah this is the next one so uh, maybe uh, my uh, uh, my squeeze so the next two shots first one is this and then that's the last one that's good before I consume the uh, the uh, the last of it for those uh, leftovers I hit a bullseye it's isn't it lucky so um, there's four more leftovers that is a different um, grain so I shift this and then this one and then this one I didn't change the uh, the uh, scope anymore because it's a different grain and shooting 100 yards with that far from your from your uh, center that's uh, lethal for deer so as long as I hit my target I'm okay with that as I have said I'm not a uh, precision uh, shooter I'm just a newbie I hunt and uh, I'm still learning so what I did the last um, bullet that I have I shoot a paper target that I set in 50 yards and to my surprise if you want to see the uh, point of impact is just amazing like look at that oh my goodness hey for 50 yards <laughs> I'm okay with that that will do for for a uh, Oh, it's just chilly. <sighs> for a, uh, a budget rifle, that will work for me. And yeah, if you want to buy a Stevens 334 made from Turkey, uh, it's imported by uh, Savage here in Canada. So they call it Stevens 34, but in Turkey it's called ETA Arms Turka. So it's a good buy. <laughs>